Bon Bon Wa. Good evening, Khajiits, and all of the races of Cyrodiil, all the races of Tamriel, maybe even all the races of Nern. It is I, Loki the Mad Kite. I messed up my own name. <laughs> it is I, Loki the Mad Titan, and welcome to episode 18. Yes, finally, Rigmore is legal. Episode 18 of the Skyrim mod, Rigmore of Cyrodiil, the sequel to Rigmore Bruma. And yeah, i um, trying to be kind of loud for two reasons. The first reason is um, apparently there's, there's explosions, there's a war. We picked up uh, exactly where we left off, and we are right into fighting. I believe so let's talk to Rigmore real quick what happened what's the situation who got guns and why are things blowing up is it the trebuchets so I can't believe I messed up saying my own name I, I've done a lot of silly things in intros and I'm gonna leave this instead of redoing it but, but that was a pretty funny one we took Fort Ash then joined up with Ingol at Fort Empire where's Quintus the second reason I'm uh, trying to talk a little louder is for some bizarre reason one of my cats decided to lay literally exactly in the worst place possible underneath my feet right in front of the microphone <laughs> so I'm like about a foot further away than I normally am so I'm like hunched over where is Quintus? Quintus is holding Leowin down at Fort Nickel. Kameus? Kameus is holding Coral from Leowin at Fort Ash. Skingrad pushed to help but I can't tell you if he did. Rigmore, what about you? Are you okay? What about Amadeus and everybody else? I... I thought I was going to lose you. Everything's going to be okay. Calm down and focus and tell me what we need to do. Super, super nitpicky, but it looks like there's a extra space in between OK and N. We need to push on and take the farmhouse. Then we can attack their catapult. Taking the farmhouse will weaken and threaten their middle ground. From there, we can attack the heights near the well, dividing Leowin's forces. Just, just give me a quest marker, and I will run in that direction, because I don't know why we're taking a farmhouse, but let's do it. Has anyone else joined the battle? Reville is abstaining. Shannon Hall is routed. Then let's go take out that farm. Screw farmers. What do we need food for? Stay close so I can protect you if needed. Okay. I'm surprised she didn't go like she normally does. Head to the mustard point. All right, mustard. All right, got a quest marker. I guess I know it's not mustard. Hey, girl. Tish, I forgot your name. How you doing? Why don't you look where I'm going? What? Okay. Uh, we're going. We're going over here apparently. Oh, that I don't have. <laughs> I don't have a sword equipped. That's not gonna work so well for me. Zura's Bane time. Let's go to the farmhouse. Through the f through the fire. Please don't don't explode me. Or oh, we're not even. Oh Jesus! Meteors incoming. Mm -hmm. Oh, need something? All right. Am I where I'm supposed to be? No, like this guy's kind of in my spot. Oh. Right now, no, still not. All right, you're all. Is this good enough? Need something? Need, yeah, I need. I need it to up, update and recognize that need I'm something. here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. Have, I couldn't. Have, I couldn't have broke the pathing. Path There's just a path, but I followed the path. I went boop, 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 fall on the path, and here I am. No? Alright, I just had to go like two steps further. Completed, head to the okay. muster point. Onward! To victory! Right, can I just cut across the field? I'm just gonna... Whee! Here I come! Through the wheat! Oh no, the wagon! Not the wagon! Yeah, let's go. Choppy choppy time. Did he just growl at me? Oh, the first one is to die is a Leyland soldier. And now Fall Creep. Take that. You too. Oh, you're on my side. Oh, where, there you wear a Dragonborn shield. I'm the Dragonborn. 
I don't remember who's on my side. Alright, the farm is mine! Oh wow, the hour guys. I should have went for them. Oh. Oh boy. Is it? I'm just standing there. That was pretty funny. This is the end for you, but I'm just gonna stand here and not even try to shoot an arrow at you. Why are you guys just standing there? Get up the ladder. Get up the ladder and kill them. Get up the ladder. I'm the only one killing things. Valkyrie soldier, are you on my side? I'm trapped. I'm, could you guys... I'm about to push or die you. Why are you just standing there? You're messing with the wrong girl. Jesus. The 20 dudes just standing there. What? Where are we going? Fight your way through the farmhouse. Whoa, whoa. I'm not taking meteors to the face. You, with the fancy hat. Come here. I'm getting pushed around. You choppy choppy. Oh, this fight is confusing. Oh, that was one of my guys. My bad. Don't stand right in front of me. But I'm trying to choppy choppy, maybe. Just a suggestion. Anybody else? You guys, you got the rest of them? I know the red guys are bad. Yeah, kill animation right in the back. E2 Brute. I'm sorry if you're the guy I killed. Challenge me. I'll send money to your families. I still think I'm killing my own people. <laughs> I'm so bad. Don't take me to war with you. I will kill. I will kill my own people. Friendly fire. All right. The blue guys and the yellow guys are my guys. Right. No? Broom, yeah, Broom is definitely mine. What are the green guys? Falkers, they're not mine, but there's too many, you're all in my way. There we go, I got one. Alright, is that everybody? I mean, I might have got the last kill there. We didn't lose anybody important, did we? I hope not. I hope everybody important is essential. Alright, wants me to talk to Rigmore, but we're still fighting apparently. Who are you? Watch officer. Off. I don't know what that means. Huh? Whose side are you on, watch officer? Make it quick. I don't recognize your armor. That was a Leo one, dude. All right, now we're discussing the situation, and then I can assess the situation. Yeah, I think that guy's on nobody's side. <laughs> he's just—he's lost. All right, so you're still here. Cool. Need something? Uh, no. I'm I swear you were on the other side. Wait. Good morning. Fall yes. I'm so confused. All right, he's still here. Yes. And Speak. I thought Falkyrie. <laughs> I swear I thought Falkyrie was on the other side. Oh no! I think I killed so many Falkyrie guys on the way here. Oh, it's terrible. So it was definitely the red dudes and the yellow dudes. Leowin and the, the Imperial soldiers. I know I killed a Bruma guy back here for sure. I didn't kill him. Where did the bodies despawn? This guy. I'm like 99% sure he's. That's a my bad. And I might have killed him too. I was just hacking, whacking, and smacking anything that was moving. All right. Yay! We took the burnt farmhouse. That's really gonna help, I guess. We're not getting fireballs thrown in our face anymore. Yeah. Why are you standing so close to my girl? I'm on. The farmhouse is ours. What's next? We need to push on and take the heights near the well, dividing Leowin's forces. Okay, follow me. Okay. Just give me a quest okay. mark. More fighting. Let's take those heights. Onward! This is going to gonna be the most fighting episode ever. I'm just headed straight towards the arrow. So maybe I'm messing up pathing. Maybe I'm not supposed to pass the, the oh, fire yeah. wagon. Oh, what? Pass. 
Where'd you come from? Hide behind the wagon, you sneaky. I'm gonna try only to go at the red dudes. Because I know for sure they're bad guys. There's a horse over there. Alright, lay one of your definitely bad guys. These are, I'm gonna pretend they're Bobby. Bobby? Bobby? How are you not dead? Die, Bobby. I'm going for them archers. Come here, Bobby. I know, I'm supposed to be protecting Rigmore. I'm doing a great job. Oh, no! I'm on! Don't step in front of me, man! Not yet. I know, Michael's probably going. Yeah! Oh, up the path Just let them fight, but dude, they were just standing down there. <laughs> Not even killing the archers before. I feel like this fight would probably take forever if I didn't get involved a little bit more heavily. Oh, did someone just drop the F bomb? I'll see I... you in pieces. You'll see me in pieces? Okay. Come here. Yeah, just stand still while I'm swinging a sword at you. Good plan. Yeah, you all shoot at me. Good plan. Yep. One. Two. Did I not kill all the archers? Over there? Three. Cool. Look how many dudes it takes to kill an archer. What is happening? Right. Screw it. I'm going over here. Alright, all right. try to make sure I get the right guys. Uh, Leoing. Bobby. I'll fix you. Who are you? Uh, Leoing. Leoing. <laughs> if I ever get in a fight, I'm just going to be yelling, Leoing! And everybody's going to be like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? He keeps saying, yo, we took Need the something? well. Now we can make a wish. Tell Rigmore to push ahead to the bridge. I will. Where, where, I know I'm supposed to be protecting her, but where... There she is. Mm. Aw, she's hanging out with Tish. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Uh, we're, um, we're, do, whatever the quest, uh, whatever the mod author just said. I just kicked the cat. <laughs> Dang it. Not hard, gently. Uh, we have the heights now. Let, uh, in the, I'm excited. And now the momentum. Let's take that bridge. Okay. On me. To way. To that victory. Way? We're going that way, right? Yeah. Hey, whoa, whoa, oh, right in my, right in my, uh, right in my ovaries. I was going to say balls, but I forgot I got, got, um, got my cat here. A lady cat. Ugh, why are they groaning at me? Did I hit him twice and he didn't die? I like how it's like me and Fish knowing her. Okay, okay, Alma Joy. Jesus. You're really trying. Oh, hi. Right. Hello. Red guys. Yeah, I want the, the guys in the really cool armor from earlier. Wow, I'm getting pushed around. Alright, come on. I didn't forget. Alright, I did forget. Alright, here we go. Perfect opportunity. Oh wait, it didn't respawn yet though, did it? What? Right. I kinda blew, <laughs> kinda blew my own guy! Oh, I kinda blew my own guy! Oh, that sounds inappropriate. Not that kind of blowing. I kind of, uh... Usu dod him across the, uh, path here. Nobody's trying to turn me into rugs, I'm bummed. Nobody's going. I have God mode on you. I can't die. Not in mortal mode, though. I turned the mortal mode back off because I was confused. Can you guys handle it? Two on. Yeah, you got it. Alright. Archers! Lay in. Come here, bobbies. Oh, a whole bunch more red dudes. And I missed completely. Uh, Trying to do fancy moves on me. I'm doing one move called the power move. So that way you die quickly. Hey, you. Come here, Bobby. Bobby. Bobby Jr. Bobby the third. Who is hitting me in the butt? Alright, three on one. You guys should be able to handle that, honestly. Did like was there still people I didn't even think there was any more enemies behind us. Mm. 
something. need something. <laughs> Look at this pile of carnage, this pile of bodies. Alright. I hear, I hear a lot of hollering, but I don't see anybody else. I thought you guys were already up there. I swore they were already up there, but apparently, no. I'm crazy pants. So we jumped right into the action for sure this episode. Holy Moses. All right. Take way and secure the bridge. Check on Rigmore. All right. We're doing, we're doing awesome. A septum for your thoughts on being cute now? You're almost home. It's almost over. Um, bu 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 let's see, um, I mean, that seems, that doesn't seem, <laughs> that does not seem to fit the, uh, the mood of what we're doing right now, um, I don't, I don't like that one that much either for some reason, I'm just gonna go with it's almost over. It's, it's all like a dream, I, I need to figure out what to do next. This episode is not sponsored by Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Major Melon. That's the drink of the day. Uh, it's all over, Sethius. Now, Leowen is defeated. Dragonborn, what are we gonna do now? Is that dude? <laughs> Why is that dude just strolling up? Oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, what oh my! Oh. What, what what happened? What happened? Oh. You can march in the city, it's yours to take. Well, Siri, it'll deserve oh, better, better than, than me. Better you also have the support of Anvil and oh. Skingrad. What happened? With Marag gone, oh. maybe Sethius will sue for peace. Better he wasn't all that bad an Emperor. Oh. What happened? Rigmore, he's a usurper, a bandit king, oh. and he is not to be what trusted. Oh. He deserves nothing oh. less than be executed for his crime. All he has left now is to send Blackwell to offer a peace deal. Oh, offer a deal for peace. Um, I mean, like, I talked to the dude once this entire mod, so I don't even really... I don't... Uh, I guess this one. If only we could just go home, stop the fighting, and live a normal life again. I'm I'm down with that. I I feel you. I do. Uh, it's a little late for that now. I'm afraid that ship has already sailed. Say the word, and I'll take you home. I'm gonna say that because I know that. She knows, or I feel like I, I know the mod well enough to know that she knows that that's not something that can happen. Even though we both might want it, but I think she would like to hear this. Which is, you know, I'm being kind of silly because you know it's a video game, but pretending if Rigmore was a real person, <laughs> I I think this would be uh, the most apropos of the responses. Let's see. <sighs> It's over. We have won the war. Fort Nickel has fallen. Leowin has surrendered. Skingrad's arrival has forced Charl back behind his walls. Emberville. Need something. Bravel abstained. Yes. He turned his army around and returned to Bravel without a fight. Make it quick. Thank you, Quintus. Mm? For everything. You too, Camaeus. Need something? Countess, <laughs> yes. the Legion stands ready. It doesn't feel right marching into <clears throat> the city. The citizens have put up with enough bloodshed these past years. Let's make camp. Try to clear some of this mess out while I think about what to do next. I understand. Count Camaeus, you have proven yourself a trustworthy ally. I shan't forget. And I accept your apology on behalf of the Dominion for my father's death. Wow. Countess? <coughs> no, please. Don't. Won't you stay until I have decided what to do next? 
Of course. Ingol, there are no words to say how grateful I am for your help in Bruma's hour of need. Please, feel free to take your men and return home. Sorella and Angie should be waiting for your safe return. It's been an honor to fight alongside you. If you ever need me for anything, you know where to find me. Goodbye, Guardian. Goodbye. Good more. Sorry, okay. I'm pretty sure I ready killed a couple of your camp. men. I want everyone rested and ready. Take care of the wounded. Let's start clearing this place up. Looters are to be executed on Silver sight. Sword, okay. A lone rider approaches. From, from from the castle? Can't see. Ugh. Oh, better this oh. one. Well, that guy. Oh. Better this what one. Happened? You want something from me? Oh, I bring God. a message from yes. Lady Rigmore, Countess of Bruma. Dragonborn. What happened? Make it quick. Oh, the NBC chatter is oh. getting. What happened? Hey. Oh, I didn't even. Oh, good. That was. I didn't even. I did not even engage him. I always forget. Oh, where are the letters? They're in here, right? No, God Almighty. I haven't had to read a letter for a while. Well, it's not a key. It's scrolls? No. <laughs> Why am I so bad at remembering? Books, 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 books. Wee. All right. Um. No. 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 This one, I think. Countess Rigmore, I have been instructed by the Emperor to invite you to the palace for talks and hope we can put an end to this unfortunate position we all find ourselves in. I think we can agree that the demise of Mulrag and the defeat of Lewin and his cabal has changed the political climate in Cyrodiil. I humbly beg you not to march your army into the Citadel. I know you only want to return to a normal and prosperous life, and I can assure you, as good as my word, Bruma can remain a free city, and the Emperor has assured me that if we can end the war between us, His Majesty the Emperor promises the following. The Count of Leowen be exiled. No! 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 <laughs> no! Bobby be exiled. No! I don't care about the Count. He can he can go... He could be exiled. D D Bob Bobby's unacceptable. The Count of Coral be reprimanded. The Count of Chadenhall be reprimanded. Marshal Quintus be pardoned. That's a good one. The Guardian is to be bestowed the County of Leowen by royal decree, if only to restore freedom and prosperity to not only Cyrodiil but the Empire in these troubling and dark times. Therefore, I humbly ask you to present yourself to the Imperial Palace tomorrow morning so we can discuss and agree to the possible terms amendments if you require them and once again bring a lasting peace to the citizens of the Empire the citizens of the Empire, the citizens the, the Empire deserve. Martin Bockwell, Lord Chancellor of Cyril, and the Empire. Okay. Cool-ish. Was a horsey. I don't have any hate for you or carrots, I'm sorry. Alright, you go away. Like, I listen to me. Uh, so hey, we got this note. It was for you, but I read it because th it told me to. <laughs> the Emperor wants a peace deal. We are going to the palace tomorrow morning for talks. I'm prepared to make a peace deal. I never wanted any of this. What about the prophecy? Screw the prophecy. Old wives' tales and hocus pocus. I'm in no mood for it. Well, you don't have to make a decision now. Let's join the others by the fire. I would like that. Alright, but uh, Santa Claus, aka Akatosh, who I did a tiny bit, a little bit, tiny little bit of research, it was a lot, and I don't <laughs> think I retained much of it, except for the fact that Akatosh was named after, like, some dude from Bethesda, or. I think it was Bethesda, or maybe one of the studios before Bethesda, but I'm pretty sure it was Bethesda who had, like, a really long name on a forum 
and I'm probably butchering the story, but the, the, the initials of his name ended up being Agatosh, and that's where, I guess he's the guy that created Agatosh, so that's where they came from, so it, it's basically, it's, it's just a silly uh, Easter egg for the guy that created the character. Interesting. You know, not super, like, whoa, totally blow my mind, dude, but, you know, still kind of interesting. And yes, I'm, I'm trying to uh, get a little bit better with the lore to understand things a little bit better. All right. So the fighting's done. That was more than enough fighting. I'm happy with the fighting. And Frigmore would just speed it up a little bit. I mean, she has preggers, so I'm not, I'm not going to give her a hard time. Alright, I feel like, though, if we don't do what they want us to do with that, Akatosh and everybody else is going to punish us or make it happen anyway. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Hey, um... Tish! Hey, girl. Hey, What's up? Hey, girl. I, uh, sorry I... Sorry I, I chopped you during, during, the, during the fight. Come on, no hard, no hard feelings. I got a little carried away. I saw the guild during the battle. I didn't get a chance to thank you and apologize for hitting you with my fire sword. No need, my friend. I feel invigorated again. It's been some time since I had a purpose to do anything at all. Lady Rigmore needs my service, just as her father offered his to help us fight the Dominion to a standstill during the Resistance. I feel obliged to return the favor. Did you know my father, Eamon? Not personally. He arrived later in our struggle after the Empire betrayed us. The war had been raging for some time. If only Meade had kept his nerve after Narafin was defeated at the Battle of the Red Ring, Maybe we would not have had to fight another five years alone. I don't think the Dominion accounted for the fact we would never surrender. You eyeballing me, Tish? Both of you, why are you staring at me? He was the one talking, you should be looking at him. You mentioned the March of Thirst back at the Guild. What happened after? After we crossed the desert, we regrouped in Skaven. At this time, only Hagath held out from Arenelia's forces. She followed us over the desert, and by the time she made camp outside the walls, Decianus had arrived with his legion and volunteers from High Rock, Skyrim, all over. That must have been some battle. It's another another good voice actor. This, uh, this mod author is just banging in regards to uh, getting... Really good voice actors. Bravo. That was a bloody day. Although we lost the city, it was the beginning of the end for Aranelia. By the time Meade had won in Cyrodiil, we had retaken Skaven and pushed her all the way back across the desert. Then? Then the White Gold conquered that happened, and the Empire abandoned us to the Dominion. They thought they could get away with murder, and began to ethnically cleanse the South, consolidating their gift from Mead. That's when your father arrived, Rigmore. I have never seen such ferocity. Just the sheer size of the Nords, all berserkers. We also had a lot of former legionnaires too, Bretons, Orsama, and we fought on. Then one day, they were gone. It was over. The war had given me a purpose, and now I had none. I was just a lordless knight with nowhere to call home. The rest is, how shall we say, history. What will you do when this is all over? I have decided to return home to Rehad. Hammerfell is calling. Who knows what awaits? So what's your story, Tish? 
my story? Man. You ever heard of Rothgar? Well, it's a small part of High Rock in the mountains there. We lived in a small village under the shadow of Mount Sorrow. Our tribe was the Gorlana. But it got swallowed up along with most other small tribes into the bigger ones during the squabbles. That's my name, Gorlana Tish. The chief was looking for young wives and had his beady eye on me, so I up and left overnight. My mother was sleeping, but my father caught me at the door of our hut, all set, ready to go with my pack. He knew. He never said a word. He just grabbed my face in one hand, lifting me onto my toes, and with his thumb, drew a line from my nose down over my lips. He let me down, then placed his hand on my shoulder with a slight nod. Man, I can tell you that was intense. You see, we don't do that kind of lovey shit most men and mare do. No way. But it meant everything to me. Sometimes I wish I could cry like you milk drinkers. <laughs> I was quite young then. Had been down the mines for most of my childhood. I'll never forget, every morning when I woke up, the very first thing I would do was just gaze up at that mountain and watch the clouds kind of get wrapped around it. Yeah, Mount Sorrow. I'll have to go back there someday. What about B? You know, Bersalak. How did you meet him? Was it on the battlefield? <laughs> No, nothing like that. It wasn't long after I left the Blades. You were in the Blades? Yeah, but I don't talk about it, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, she said she doesn't talk about it, but she didn't really finish her story at the same time. What? Tell the rest of your story, Tish. Please. I was crossing over the border from here, from Cyrodiil into Skyrim. It was quite high up in the Jarrell Mountains, and man, it was so cold. A storm was whipping up the slope, and I knew I had to get to shelter before nightfall. Find a cave, or an overhang, or I would freeze to death. So I kept going. All of a sudden, I saw a clearing, away over the gorge. I knew there had been a recent avalanche, but I had no choice. I followed the fresh snow, and after a while my way was blocked by a crevasse. It wasn't too wide, but I figured too wide for a jump, so I followed it looking for a narrow gap. I could see one up ahead. Man, it looked like I was getting lucky. But as I got closer I could make out what looked like... I don't know, some kind of debris. But there was this guy. No kidding you, Rigmore. Upside down wedged in this hole. This crevasse. With his legs sticking out into the air. I mean, he looked <laughs> frozen to death. A block of ice. <laughs> there. Hanging upside down in this crevasse. Thank my lucky stars, a way over. So I took a running jump, landed on his fat ass, and propelled myself out of the hole. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> but by dying, this poor guy had saved my life. I couldn't leave him like that. I mean, normally I wouldn't have hung around, as I wasn't quite out of the danger zone yet. It was getting dark in the wind. Danger zone. It was like howling. So I lassoed this guy's legs and pulled his body out of the hole. It was the least I could do, right? I mean, he was gone, frozen stiff. Even parts of his beard snapped off in my fingers. And even under all that ice, you could tell the blood had rushed to his head. Which looked like a giant fucking frozen plum. <laughs> 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 
I didn't have time to stay around or I'd be joining him. So anyway, sometime later, as I was coming down the mountain, I ran into about eight or nine bandit marauders looking for a quick septum. But they weren't going to take me without a fight. That's what we Orsimer do. We fight. So I took a couple out. But these guys were getting the better of me, tough bastards. I was going down and I was shouting, Come on, you motherfuckers, give it your best shot. I took a blade in the guts. Uh-oh, I thought. I'm done here. Then I hear this roar. It was like over my shoulder. And I was like, Hey, this has got to be a bear or something, right? I was blacking out. My sword slipped from my fingers and I was going down. And for the first time in a long time, I felt warm. It was weird. I was face down in the dirty snow. I mean, I could taste it. While all this shit was going on like a blur all around me. I just wanted to sleep. I said my last words with an oath to Malakath. Take me, Malakath. Let it be known I fought and died with honor, and look favorably on my clan as worthy of your gratitude. I woke up. Only the gods know how long I'd been under, but... There, on a rock, sat this big fucking guy. No shit, Rigmore. The same guy I had pulled out of that hole with the frozen plum head. <laughs> no way! <laughs> saved my life. Cute. Like I saved his, I guess. <laughs> I haven't been able to shake his fat ass since. He's like fucked up in there somewhere. Maybe it was all that time hanging upside down with his ass sticking in the air. I don't know. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> I mean, I should have died back there. And I was in a really bad way. You know, he took care of me. Stitched my wounds, washed and dressed me, fed me, and even took me for a shit when I needed one and has never, to this day, uttered one single word. That is quite something, Tish. Hodor. <clears throat> so yeah, I've been looking out for him ever since. Do you have any regrets? Hey, I better be getting back. B's not too good if I'm not there when he wakes up. And we don't want that, right? Thanks, Tish. No sweat, Rigmore. See you around. I am really glad that they included a little bit for uh, both of them. You know, we got a lot more for Tish than for Amon or Amon. Yeah, I was calling him Amon, but I'm pretty sure she said Amon. So I just know, like, like every name in here, I'm saying wrong. I don't know. He looks like an Amon for some reason. Uh, the Tish story backstory that was great. And she said she was in the blades. Tish the blade. That makes sense. Hey, we had better get some rest too. Yeah. I could sleep for a hundred years. It's because you have chronic fatigue syndrome, like I said in the last episode. <laughs> Something wrong with you, girl? Alright. Yeah, hopefully I don't sound too bad. I am having problems with my throat. Again, but I don't really want to talk about it. It's just super annoying and I'm gonna make videos as best as I can for as long as I can because I enjoy doing it for no other reason than that All right, so it is a little early But let's do like a nice a nice 12 hour sleep sounds good nice 12 hour night night and then we will go in and uh, see how the peace treaty plays out. Not really sure how this is gonna go. Dragonborn, wake up. It's time to go. <laughs> See, at least Lizzie can get up out of bed. For me to get out of bed, I have to do like 15 back stretches before I. I'm facing the tent. Okay. I was like, what am I looking at? Hey, girl! It's like I can never sneak out of bed. My son always knows when I'm getting up because it sounds like a bear. I'm like, uh, uh, yeah. uh. 
You ready? As I'll ever be. Okie dokie. And then the worst part of my day. Putting on my socks. <laughs> the worst part of my day. Hey, Eamon. Where's Tish? Tish has decided to go home. Back to High Rock. Aww. You might be able to catch her if you hurry. Yeah, where, 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 where is she? I don't want Tish to go. Don't go, Tish. Tish, wait. Hey, girl. What's up? Hey, girl. Where are you going? Bruma has been good to us. We don't want to outstay our welcome. Tish, please. Won't you stay? Ah, Rigmore, don't do this to me. Tish, please. Don't go. You'll always be welcome here. Where will you go? Ah, uh, look. Me and B gonna head up to High Rock, see what's happening up there. I got some unfinished business, and talking to you kind of cleared my head a bit. I understand. No regrets, huh? One of my biggest regrets in my life was killing all those dragons. What? That... That... What? I... Oh, see... I feel like... You can't just say that in a... Right away... Oh my god. What is she... What it... <laughs> what? Who dragons? What dragons did she kill? How did you not have any more questions after that? Alright. Tish better be in Rigmore of Tamriel. Or... There better be a spin-off mod, <laughs> spin mod for her or something. Because you can't just say that and then ride off. Watch out for a trap. Sethius will be surrounded by his Praetorian guard. I'll be fine, Quintus. Anyway, I have the Dragonborn. What could possibly go wrong? No, oh, no. That means something's going wrong. If anything wrong. untoward happens, I will march my legion into the city in the name of Titus Mead II and give control back to the Council of Elders. I am sure Blackwell is as good as his word. Thank you, Quintus. For everything. Don't make it sound like it's the end. This is just the beginning. Good luck, my lady. Come on, Dragonborn. Let's get this over with. Alright. I like Quintus and his beautiful blue eyes, and you do exactly that. Now I now that you said that though, I'm like sixty-five percent mm -hmm. sure that this is gonna be a trap. Like is Blackwall dead? I don't know why, like he that that you made me get really suspicious now. Like Blackwell's dead, oh you're really really stuttering staggering going up these steps. Blackwell's dead and Sethius is uh, doing exactly what Quintus just said, laying a trap for us, and we're going to have to murder him to death, which is going to make it so that Rigmore has to take over rather than us getting the peace ending that we want. Or something completely different is going to happen. <laughs> right now, that's, that's the vibe that I'm getting. That's the feeling I'm getting. We'll see. But yeah, Tish is... My biggest regret is killing all those dragons. That reminds me of... There's a Lewis Black joke that he tells where he was like at a coffee shop and the lady at the table next to him is talking to another lady. And she says, If it wasn't for that horse, I would have never spent a year in college. And that... that that that's haunted him because he just he he needs he needs to know what that means and he's never gonna find out what that means that's what that that's what that felt like 
Like, I want to run after Tish and make her tell me what she was talking about there. I'm probably missing something. It's probably something in the lore. Like, oh, I'm supposed to go. Oh, Tish's. Letitia, the Dragon Slayer, or something, but I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know who Tish is. I'm still confused that she looks like the Grey Prince, who was mixed. Ended up being. Are you? Are you? In, are you imitating Cassius? You gotta go do a little, little pee pee. You're a little nervous. Yeah, when you get pregnant, you have to go pee pee all the time. So, I mean, you're not showing or anything yet, but maybe that's what that was. You, we're cool, you guys. They're gonna sneak attack us. All right. I mean, nothing. No people or anything. One dude up there. Check the rooftops. Alright. Oh, wait. There's another dude over there. Oh, two dudes there. Is there somebody over here, too? Um, no. Okay. Got this really chill, like, lounge piano music in the background. I feel like I'm playing Sims or something. We cool? What do you need? I'm just seeing if we're cool. How many doors? Look at that grave. Look at that grave. Skull and crossbones. Is a pirate buried there? Yar matey. A pirate be buried there. Alright, these are the dudes I want to kill. Dragonborn. Wait. What shall I say to them? Oh yeah, that... <laughs> that's that's kind of a, let's discuss it right in front of these dudes, the D Darth Vader guys. Um, yeah, we probably should have discussed that back at camp. We also should have asked Tish what she meant by uh, regretting killing all those dragons. Uh, I'll represent I'll represent you, leaving the talking. <laughs> Why can't I talk? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't leave the talking to me because apparently I can't talk. I'll represent you, leave the talking to me. Well, I certainly won't be marrying that asshole Robert, so check that off the list. Does, that wasn't the best he can hope for is his freedom. Same with the father. We hold the upper hand of the negotiations, right? We, we should. I still feel like something's up since Quintus said what he said. Uh, yeah, they don't want you to marry Bobby. They want to exile Bobby. And marrying the Emperor? I don't think so. Ew. All this political bullshit, how do they even live with themselves? They will do everything. Anything. Stoop to the lowest of the low at every opportunity for power. That's what really pisses me off. The power doesn't belong to them. It belongs to the citizens. Don't hold the back. The people of Tamriel. Hell yeah. If only I could be a true voice for the people. Do you think that I have what it takes, Dragonborn, to become Empress? Yes. But it sounds like you want there to be democracy, which would be really interesting in uh, Skyrim, or in Cyrodiil, more specifically. Not Skyrim, because we're not in Skyrim. Uh, only you can decide. Whatever you choose, I'm here for you. With me by your side, anything is possible. That's rather arrogant. I'm going to go with that one. But what about you? What will you do, no matter what happens next? I will uh, sit around and wait for uh, a rigmore of... Uh, Tamriel to come out. Wherever you go, I will follow, no matter what happens next. I love you, Dragonborn. I belong to you and you alone. And I will never stop loving you. Do you believe in the prophecy thing? I hope it's true, and there is a child, our child. She will want for nothing. To hell with the prophecy. We made our choice, only time will tell. I mean, it's the baby part's cool. So I'm just gonna go, like, I feel like this is like a yes, and this is like a no, and this is kind of like, eh. So I'm gonna go with, eh. What will become of us?
rising star. Okay, that makes still makes me think we're gonna be doing some choppy choppy in here. Okay, um, let's let's do it. Silly, I'm nervous about something in a video game, but I'm not gonna lie. What's up? You ain't got no eyes. Where are your eyes? I don't like it. Take this helmet off. You. I was gonna say, I didn't think Rumor came with me. You crossing your arms for Alright, here we go. It's only the second time we ever talked to this dude. And. No, nope, Blackwell's alive. Oh, there's a lot of dudes in here. Oh, no. There is a lot of dudes in here. Um. Okay. Yep. Alright, this always happens, but she's. Okay. What are you doing? Why are you standing there? Kill them! Uh. Are we fighting? Because this is a lot of dudes. Blackwell! Order your men to kill these traitors! Uh. No? Hold your swords. I am your emperor! You! I demand you kill them! You! You! You must obey me! You will cut them down this instant! You! Pick up your sword and... and cut them down! Cut them down, I say! The... Then... then... I... I am undone. Okay. It, it, it wasn't me. I, I am innocent. It was her, <laughs> Warlag. She murdered the children, not me. You... You can keep the crown. Here, here. Take it. Take it. Please. Quarter. Quarter. Mercy. <laughs> what just happened? Hey! I am uh. Uh. Um. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that? The Emperor is dead. I killed him. I just, I just booped the cat again. Sorry, cat. I am not used to you being there. Um, I mean, I couldn't loot Morag. I'm really bummed about that. I don't really want his stuff, but fine. It's a unique, uniquely named dagger that I'll never use. Kind of looked like, uh, what's his face? I have no idea what to say. Uh, uh, Jesus, Rasputin. He looks like Rasputin. Dovakin? Is that what they're? Is that what they're chanting? There you go. That was for you guys. If you're cheering for me. Are you alright? Alright, that made him stop chanting. That's funny. Um, okay. I can't ask her if she's okay. She puked. She puked, she puked all over. <laughs> hey! Um, that did not go the way I expected at all. Like, at all. What the hell is this? Majesty, whomsoever takes off the head that wears the crown reigns supreme. You are Lord Protector of Cyrodiil and the Empire. Take your rightful place upon the throne of Dragonborn Kings and Queens. But... No... That... Alright, 
I don't know if I messed up. Was I... I mean, she was... That was like instinct. Okay, so clearly that's what the mod author planned. I have to assume that, like, I would just instinctually defend Rigmore. And now... I'm the Empress. Because I killed him. I only hit him once, didn't I? Lightweight. What if I had Fusrud him? Maybe Rigmore would have stopped puking and... Uh, anyway, I'm pretty sure that this is what he wanted. To, uh, I, I don't... Can you? No, she doesn't want to talk to me about... It. I'm not... Alright, I have a choice. There's nothing else for me to do. Um... Okay. Well... Surprise! This is not what I thought was going to be happening. I look good in the dress, though. Uh, My lady, after you. The music school. So that was your morning sickness? You had to go pee-pee outside and you had morning sickness here? Uh, so you're my queen? And you're, you're my empress? Em to the empress? I'm, I don't know what's happening. So Michael said I was like two-thirds through this mod. What's your gonna majesty. happen? As Lord Chancellor, it is my duty to protect and serve, and pursue your interests with absolute unwavering ruthlessness. If you would kindly permit me to, and I am sure you'll agree, tie up a few loose ends. We have to nip it in the bud, so to speak. All of them. My lady, you look quite peakish. Are you unwell? I... I am with child. She has a bun in the oven. Okay. So tying up loose blends, does that mean killing Bobby? <laughs> A little while later. We've just been sitting here this whole time. Yeah, I thought the rising star was going to be Rigmore, not me. I mean, this is cool. But. Um. So. Yeah, that doesn't look comfortable at all. Can I get some pillows? Um. Hey. Uh, well, it's, I guess it's better than, like, the Game of Thrones throne. So, that was, um, you feeling any better? You need some Pepto-Bismol? Want me to go get some crackers and some ginger ale? Are you sure? Wait, why, uh, I'm, why am I asking her if she's sure? Am I asking her if she's sure? Oh, about the baby? Because it's a little while later, so we just sat here in silence for like 10 minutes, and then I'm like, are you sure? Dragon one, of course I'm sure. This is the best thing ever to happen in my life! As, uh... A father of... A, just a wonderful, wonderful son that I love more than anything in the world that we tried to have for not nearly as long as other people, but it took us about seven months. Um, and we were starting to think maybe there might be some problems. Uh, yes, it is the best thing. What? The baby? Or you becoming Empress? Not the Empress part. Let's just wait and see what happens next. The baby, of course. What are you going to do? Uh, I I don't know. Something's not right. It doesn't add up. I'm going to rule. Rule <laughs> the Empress. Not no no no. I'm going to go with the flow. We've got we've come this far, haven't we? Yeah. So I mean. Now, I'm basing this on my own cluelessness and the fact that I don't think my character knows either. 
I think there is an explanation because Michael's really been hinting at it for a while now that this was a possible he never directly said it because he's being very kind and trying to keep it spoiler free but that I, I got the gist that this was he was suggesting that this was possibly where the story was going I am pretty intuitive in, in general so I'm not completely shocked uh, but I don't think you know, since I don't completely understand 100% and neither do I think my character. I mean, other than the fact that Blackwell said whoever killed him, which he specifically said chopped off his head, which... Damn it. Dragon one, of course I'm sure. I thought if I was moving the cursor that it would... What? The baby? Not Will kick you me out of dialogue. Empress? But I was wrong. What are you going to do? All right, so anyway, after all that rambling, I'm choosing the first choice. Well, I don't want to have the baby here. I want to go home. Rigmore, it should have been you become the Empress. I agree. Uh-uh. You're the last Dragonborn, the rightful heir to the throne. Blackwell said it himself. I need you now more than ever. Please, don't leave me here alone. Moa deep, Moa deep. The spice must flow. Rigmore, I would never leave you alone. Not now, not ever. I'm not going anywhere. We will find a way. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to say not now, not ever because I didn't want to leave last time. And then, like, you made us, the mod author made us get separated for four years. And obviously, there's going to be something that's going to cause some sort of. Again, I have no idea where this is going now, if I still have a third of the game left. Uh, that There's just going to be something. Anyway, I'm going with this. Please take me home, Dragonborn. Let's have Blackwell look after things here. If he needs us, he can send for us. I don't, I don't know if they're going to let us do that. Majesty, my lady. Here he is. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him about what happens next. Yeah, what what's happening next in this mod? Because I don't I don't know where else we're going storyline wise. So I guess I gotta go down to him. Whee! A new beginning. Talk to Blackwell. We'll find out what happens next. Yes, please tell me, Blackwell. Okay, Blackwell. What happens next? Well. There will be a small interim phase, so correspondence can be sent to those that need to be informed, such as dignitaries and the royal houses of Tamriel. They shall be invited to the coronation, which in this case I suggest be arranged at the same time, as Rigmore is now the High Queen of Cyrodiil. But first, we need to protect the integrity of our queen and the child. So, first I suggest Rigmore takes up the name of the House of Mead. Rigmore Mead? <laughs> yeah, right. It might only be a temporary change, but also a necessary one. Majesty, depending on how we go forward from here, I have another suggestion. We'll spit it out. Go on. I suggest you arrange a marriage at the soonest opportunity. You, as the last Dragonborn, are the rightful heir to the throne. As soon as I heard of your accomplishments, I knew it was fact. That not only were you gifted the Thum, but also with the ability to absorb the souls of dragons. That you were anointed by Akatosh himself as the rightful heir, before even taking the crown. If you find that arrangement to be impossible for whatever reason, there are alternative ways to proceed. Technically, I've been anointed by Michael because Michael was the one that gave me the console codes so that way I could give myself the doom so I could go Fusuda. And, uh, but, uh, okay, we'll pretend that that's that I that I did uh, all the main storyline instead of just the mod stuff. Uh, what other arrangements? A partnership or friendship ceremony for the child's sake. It would not be binding, and you could both live separate lives. What? Where there is an understanding between you and shared responsibilities. Especially if you decide to cede. 
Or you could seed the crown. Rigmore becomes empress and you go back to what you were doing before. So I figured it out. Michael is Akatosh. That's what it is, isn't it, Michael? You're Santa Claus. I knew it. All right. I <laughs> I will ask for Rigmore's hand in marriage in good time when I am ready. I will consider the options and let you know when I decide in good time. Uh, I don't necessarily. I we've already talked about getting married, so um, I don't really like either of these answers. I'll go with the first one, I guess. Understood, my lady. The Dragonborn and I shall return to Bruma for the time being, and leave you in charge as caretaker. Maybe... Maybe Titus Mead II will return someday. We will, of course, comply with anything you ask of us. Of course, my lady. As the former Countess of Bruma, administration will pass to Sigun. Bruma will, by default, become a royal city and imperial place of residence. There is a small matter that needs to be attended to. But that can wait for the time being. I'm sure both of you need time to adjust to the new situation you find yourselves in. The traitors Leowin, Chaden Hall, and Coral have all been dealt with, permanently, and the houses of Coral and Chaden Hall, for the time being, have passed on to their next of kin. Oh! Leowin? Leowin is in need of a new count. I suggest Cassius Varon. It is imperative we have someone we can trust, implicitly. I like that. His naval expertise would suit the county and protect the Nibbin Bay, especially as the disbanded bandit army has gone to ground in the border regions of Black Marsh, elsewhere in Valenwood. Of course, Quintus was another option to consider, but with growing tensions in Hammerfell, it would be prudent to have him remain there for the time being. Is it my turn to talk? Agreed, but I will be making the decisions around here from now on. Agree, Leowin is key to protect the Citadel, especially if the Agaveri launch an attack. I mean, I don't have any issue with anything that he just said, so I'm not going to be dickish. And he basically just kind of manipulated this whole situation so that way I got put in charge. So uh, I guess my feelings about him are right, so we'll go with this. I shall get on to it at once. I shall arrange the necessary correspondence announcing the change of dynasty and forthcoming coronation to be sent to whom it may concern. So expect immediate interest and requests for parley, especially from the Elder Council in exile and the Aldmeri Dominion, who I suspect will want to discuss the restoration of the White Gold Concordant. Yeah, right. <laughs> Lady Rigmore, take this opportunity to relax as best you can. Of course, return home to Bruma. But soon, whether you like it or not, you will need to adapt and come to terms with your new situation. Once the news has reached to the far corners of Tam... Nern, and you address the foreign dignitaries and your subjects, you must respect their expectations and act accordingly, befitting a queen. Hey, I'm not the Empress, and I put up with this kind of stuff from Malisab long enough, so drop it, Blackwell. But you are still the Queen. Rightfully so, as the Dragonborn is the rightful heir to the Imperial Throne by right of combat. I realize this situation is not perfect, or even expected. I am sure it comes as a surprise to all of us, but here we are. It's not the first time in the history of monarchies that things have turned out... exceptional. But we must all agree that the recent events that have brought us here are indeed exceptional. Ah, <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just worried, I guess. I, I don't know. Rigmore, I have been on the receiving end of your... <clears throat> diplomatic parlay. You have proven <laughs> beyond doubt your ability to lead, to strategize, to stand up, shoulders back head held high in the face of overwhelming odds. And with the Dragonborn by your side? If it's peace you want, if it's a home to go where you can raise a child in safety, you have a place alongside the Dragonborn to make this real. To make it a success, because no one is going to make that success for you. So please, 
do take the time to return to Bruma, appoint a lady-in-waiting, and send her here to the palace as to arrange the royal suite. I take it you have dealt with... Sir Robert? But, no. I've been... I've been... I will deal with him, but I haven't. How would I... Wouldn't what I've... Would... Then I leave his fate up to you. If you will permit me, I have matters to attend to. I shall send word if something important comes up and your presence is required. My lady. Rigmore. Dragonborn. So... In the next episode... I get to kill Bobby. <laughs> That's what that sounds like to me. Oh yeah, finally. Uh, 19 episodes in, I will get to murder Bobby to death. Okay, so... A couple things. I don't want to go into dialogue because I have this bad habit of going into dialogue and then making the dialogue get broken because I ramble for too long. So he said, what, Titus Mead the second, or she said Titus Mead the second might return. Now, I, I think I know a little bit, a little bit about, a little bit about that lore-wise because there was a Mead that, like, left and went somewhere. I don't remember where. Probably it's important, but that's, you know, he kind of he disappeared or like they thought he died but they're not sure that he died so there's always been like this possibility that he might return so much so that that was i think that was even rumored for a possible storyline in the elder scrolls 6 that it would be again i think it's what it said titus mead the second returning and trying to take back over power of Tamriel or Cyrodiil or whatever. Um, again, not super good with the lore. Apologize for that, but that I I do know a little a little bit about that because I like I said I I I'm always reading things about uh, Elder Scrolls Six because just like everybody else in the world, even though it's not going to be anytime soon, I'm excited about it. All right, let's finish up talking to Rigmore and then wrap up this episode because I've gone a little long. What is it? How do you feel about all this? Super weird. I do feel a little unsure. I can't quite put my finger on it. Rigmore, look at us. We're on top of the world. Um, yeah, I'm still going with this one. You? Unsure? I am a victim of all this, just like you. Yeah, darn those gods. I understand. I really do. I would hope so, after all this time. We share a destiny. I know that. We have both suffered from amnesia. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there for me. Been there for all of us. I know I'm not perfect, but you've always been there to carry me when I fall, to put me back together when I'm broken. I would do the same for you in a heartbeat. I'll always have your back, and I want you to know you are kind and stronger than you know. You're my dragonborn, and I'll protect you always. That is all very sweet. I think I got. <laughs> I got this. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. Anyway, uh, I love you. I love you too. What now? Can you take me home now? Take me home, country roads, to a place we call home, West Virginia, Mountain Mama. You this know is her what I now. mean. I know, I promise I wouldn't sing anymore. I'm sorry if I burst anybody's air drums there. It just made me think of uh, 76. Come on then, follow me, follower. <sighs> All right, take Rigmore uh, back to Bruma Keep. So uh, this is a perfect place, finally, I feel like, after we killed Rasputin over here. I was actually able to loot his body. We're just going to leave him here. Hey, somebody cleaned up the puke. That was quick. I didn't even see them. We have puke ninjas. 
coming in and cleaning up the puke. Uh, uh, startling turn of events. I am now the Empress. And Rigmore is now queen. And they said something about picking out a handmaiden. So that's like kind of like a babysitter, right? So uh, Tish left. So my second choice for a hot handmaiden would be uh, Carice. Can we, can we pick Carice? That's, that's my suggestion. What do you think? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. I will do the level up because it's not even really anything super pertinent to the uh, story uh, in between episodes. With all that being said, if you made it with me this far into the video, I greatly appreciate it more than you'll ever know. I have been picking up new subscribers. Um, I suspect it's due to the Frost series, as the Frost, Fallout 4 Frost, Killer Frost specifically, is doing uh, probably my best numbers. Not that any of my numbers are super great, and not that that's really a big issue, but... Just I'm just guessing that that's why I've been picking up uh, some new people because they seem to like Frost uh, and maybe are enjoying that particular series. But if you are somebody new and you've subscribed and you watch this series and you would like a shout out, I would love to do that. Just uh, give me a leave me a comment or whatever so that way I know because Facebook does not tell me. The last pe person that Facebook told me subscribed was like. 10 subscribers ago and that was juicy and I haven't seen anything since. With all that being said, I bid you adieu, goodbye, and good night, Khajiits and all the other races of Cyrodiil, Tamriel, and beyond all the way through Nern. Have a good night.